Hey, this is Jeff Rose. Welcome back to GoodFinancialSense.com. Today I want to ask you a quick question because I like asking questions. The question is, how do you define success? And part of the reason why I'm asking this question is this. I received an email the other day. It was from a guy who had read an article in my blog. And the article is entitled, How to Be a Successful Financial Advisor. And if you read that article, I talk about you know, attribute some of the reasons of my success and, and how if you want to get started, you know, in the business and become a financial advisor, you know, and uh, actually interview some other financial advisors and, you know, have them attribute, you know, some of the reasons they felt that they were uh, successful in the industry. And if you read that, you know, I, I am not a million dollar producer is what uh, is kind of a, a bragging right, maybe kind of like, you know, the all stars, you know, of our industry. You know, I'm far from it. You know, so how do I define success or why do I consider myself to be successful? And the reason that I feel is one, I have survived uh, in our industry. It is tough. Uh, whenever I first started in, in the industry back in 2002, I had a training class that had just over 50 people. And after five years, and we, we always keep track, you know, the numbers in that training class, there was only six of us left, only six. So after five years, we lost over 44 people. And some of those, they got out of the business and some did transfer elsewhere, but only six of us were left. And so that's part of the reason, you know, I contribute my, my success. But, and that's, so the that fact I'm still here is one. But the other thing, you know, why I consider myself to be successful is that I have a profession, I have a job that I love. I love what I do. I love helping people. I love helping my clients plan for retirement and helping them make sense of this complex investment world. I love it. You know, when my alarm clock goes off in the mornings, I'm, well, I'm not much of a morning person, uh, but I don't dread it how I know I've talked to a lot of people that just despise their jobs. I don't have a boss. I am my own boss. So I get to, if I want to show up a little bit late, you know, I don't have to clock in in a report. And to have that freedom is, uh, is priceless. You know, having a, a bit of a military background to where, you know, if we had formation at eight o'clock, you had to be there at 745 for the pre-formation. And if you were late for that, you know, you got reprimanded. And I was a squad leader, so I had to reprimand my guys if they weren't there for the pre-formation, which is, is just uh, funny when you think about it. But and the other reason why I feel that I'm successful is that I've got a beautiful family that supports me. I have a wife that supports me 150% on everything that I do. I got a family that I love to provide for. And that's what I contribute to success. It's not how much money I make. It's not the assets that I have under management. It's not my total production, which is just a, a, a metric that you know us advisors use to to say how, how much revenue you basically generate you know, for your firm. Uh, the, these are the things that are arbitrary to me. I could care less. I love what I do. Uh, I love my job. I love my business. I love the fact that my business allows me the freedom to do my blog, Good Financial Sense, and videos like that you see here. I love it. And that's what I consider to be successful. So. I ask you, how do you define success? Is it how much money you make? If it is, you need to start, you need to take a step back and really rethink your strategy because it's not all about money. Uh, it's not about numbers, it's not about that. It's about what you have inside your heart that you love to do. So how do you define success? Ask yourself and truly, truly ask your, yourself. Dig deep, find that answer. If you got any questions uh, or you got more information, go to uh, goodfinancialsense.com. Got tons of information there, as always. Glad you can join me again, and we'll see you next time.